As Roy Cropper, played by David Nielsen, awaits trial for Lauren Bolton's, Cat Fitton, murder in custody in Coronation Street, the tension is escalating both for him and those striving to establish his innocence. Despite friends and family being certain of Roy's innocence, others are not so sure. When far-right activist Griff Reynolds, Michael Condren, returns to Weatherfield Prison, he takes it upon himself to extract a confession from Roy. Griff is on a mission for vengeance, and it soon becomes apparent that Roy is in serious danger. Meanwhile, Bethany Platt, M.I.A. Cookson, is convinced that Nathan Curtis, Christopher Harper, is responsible for Lauren's murder. In an attempt to permanently remove Bethany's sex offender ex, Sarah Platt, Tina O'Brien, makes a daring move. But when Shush is caught in the act, will Sarah face repercussions? Or will the police uncover their own evidence implicating Nathan? In a dramatic week of episodes, aired over five nights, we'll see Carla Connor, Alison King, and Bobby Crawford, Jack Carroll, on the wrong side of the law, accused of perverting the course of justice. Just as Di Swain and Kit Green, Jacob Roberts, seem close to solving the case, viewers will be shocked by a sudden revelation, a new piece of evidence that uncovers the true identity of Lauren's killer. Have the police got their man in Nathan or is a predator still on the loose? ITV soap spoilers revealed Roy is left in grave danger when Griff pays him a visit, ordering him to confess to murder. With Roy refusing to confess to killing Lauren, Griff holds a makeshift knife up to his throat and demands the Corrie veteran say his last words. Viewers then find out who Lauren's killer is. Could this mean Roy has known who the murderer is all along? Will Roy confess to killing her or was it someone else H has been protecting all along? Coronation Street airs Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays on ITV at 8pm.